Hello, Marvelites! You're watching Marvel's The Polis, and I'm Ryan, aka Agent M. And I'm Tucker Marcus. And every week we read all the new Marvel comics that come out, and we tell you why you should read them based... Well, Tucker, what is happening? I, I got big news. I got big news, folks. I, I found a bunch of crap in the office over oh. there, and I just grabbed it. Oh. That's what... That's what it is. Anyway, okay. um, uh, as in every episode, we're talking about uh, a few books that have something really interesting in common. This week, it is War's End. Uh, we've selected four issues that are revolving around War of the Realms, including the finale of the main series. And we're starting with War of the Realms, The Punisher, number three. I love to see Jerry Duggan's Frank Castle uh, not just deal with the War of the Realms action going on uh, around New York, but to see him kind of maintain who he is despite it all, like he's kind of unshakable in this really, really epic, cool way. It's a great end to what uh, was a really, really fantastic three issues. Uh, yeah, it, it left me wanting more. It was just excellent. I feel like you're gonna bop me with one of these no, moments. No, no, no bopping. Uh, all right, up next, we've got War of the Realms, Uncanny X-Men, number three, the wrap up of this limited series. Not only is it a, a really important part of the main War of the Realms narrative, telling you what's going on with the X-Men, it also fits into the Uncanny X-Men series that's going on right now. It actually has a space to fit in right before issue number 16. Uh, it's got the X-Men, they are defending Fort Syndergaard in Queens from you know, frost giants and dark elves and all kinds of stuff, uh, and most heinously and importantly, against Sabretooth. And this is classic, old school, rip out a throat and then laugh about it, Sabretooth. And this book pulls no punches. It is wild, you're gonna love it. Yeah, I feel like this episode is a lot about what we're saying, but also a lot about what we're not saying. Yes. Because there's huge spoilers this week, it's really, really awesome. The next book, we're talking about is War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number four. In just four issues, it feels like a super team has emerged. I mean, the creative team doing the book, the heroes that the book is about. We not only finish up uh, the battle against the Queen of Cinders here, but we also move into New Agents of Atlas, yeah. number one, coming later this year. Uh, I could not be more excited. There's so much good stuff on the way with this team. It's just the best. Yeah, and I've loved Jimmy Woo for like a decade plus now. I think he's such a great character, and he's such a great leader, and you see like the training that Nick Fury has, or, like the influence he has over him really in here, and I can't wait to see more of that. Uh, but of course, we've got to talk about War of the Realms, number six. This is the daddy of the group. The first page, you yeah. find out that yeah. Thor has gone to the sun because the world tree is growing out of the sun, so he impales himself on the world tree, he sacrifices one of his eyes to gain knowledge. That's like a big ass guardian yeah. thing, that's what they do. And then the book just goes from there. Uh, there's this beautiful double page spread of Thor with his crew. They call them the Storm of Thors and it's so cool, so metal. And then like shortly after that is one of the most metal pages in comics you're gonna see. It is Captain Marvel standing atop her vanquished foe, covered in blood and literally on fire being like, all right, what's next? It's so dope, it's so good. Uh, there's lots of great interactions between all the different heroes because it is a Marvel Universe event, but it really comes down to that thor Malekith battle. I will say nothing more other than it is gorgeous, and it's amazing. Jason Aaron, Russell Dodderman, Matthew Wilson, they knocked it out of the park. Totally. We're gonna talk about that, all these books, there's like almost 30 issues out this week. We're gonna talk about them all on the audio version of Marvel's The Pull List. Get that wherever you get your audio, and then we'll be back with more next week. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. And this is Marvel. Your universe. <laughs>